I'm very excited. There was some really good makeup launches and I'm just, I'm ready to deep dive into them. Let's go. Hey guys, Madison Rowe here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I am in a rolly chair and I needed to back up. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, um, like the video, all that good stuff. If you're not new here, turn on the bell to be notified every time I upload. And I need to start saying that at the beginning because it works or whatever. Uh, anyway, so we've been doing Vlogmas. We're kind of somewhere in the middle of that. I needed some filler videos. This is a filler video. Um, and with that being said, we're going to talk about November makeup launches. I'm, I'm here on a 12 hour shift and it just makes it easier to just do something and film. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to film a few videos. So if you see a lot of Vlogmas episodes where I'm wearing the same thing, I might've gotten a little bored and just, you know, film two videos in one day. So it's not a true Vlogmas, but it is, it is kind of a Vlogmas. Um, but there are going to be days that I'm going to be just working nonstop and I just already know that it's not going to be very vlog worthy. So essentially maybe it's not vlogmas technically, but it's me uploading every day of December until Christmas basically. So anyway, all that weird tangent stuff out of the way, we're going to talk about November makeup that we liked. So I have trim mood up and... We'll get over here, and that way we can put the pictures up there. Um, I just ripped into a lot of different brands in the anti all because they just, it wasn't, there were some of them that, like, the, the pictures that they put in just didn't match anything, and I just, I wasn't vibing with it. So this, I have no idea, I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher it Milan row makeup I have never heard of this brand before but they have this like poison ivy palette and it looks really good I am a big lover of the color green so the fact that majority of it is green is just kind of helping the case also the fact that it has so many different greens but I can clearly like distinctly tell the differences even within the glitters, like there's one glitter that's a lot more gold, lime green, there's kind of a, a dark green shimmer, and then the poison ivy shade, it's kind of a a light green shimmer with some gold flecks, looks like it's got a hint of red, it's got some blues in there, it's got a red, I don't know, it's just, it's very interesting, it's not very, it's not like it's, I, well, it is cohesive, it's a nice little color story, it's an interesting color story. But, like, it doesn't really kind of match the packaging that well. I think if they would have done the Poison Ivy wording in red, I think that probably would have tied it more together. But, again, I've never tried it. It looks it looks amazing. But, yeah, maybe that's something that I am going to buy. This is November 10th is <laughs> whenever I, uh, that's how, like, far up I had to go till I finally found something I liked. Because it just wasn't. It wasn't the best month. Okay, so this. I saw this whenever it, like, popped up on the trim moon. What is, uh, what, what is, by Redo, I guess? Official by Redo, okay. So this is a brand, another brand that I've never heard of. There was a lot of just different brands popping up that I had not heard of. So again, I don't know the quality, can't speak on that. But it's uh, Fiat's Noir's eyeshadow. It is basically a black eyeshadow in this weird little container. I think the container is what's mostly selling it. It's kind of like a compact, but it's almost shaped like an like an oyster or a clam or something with the way it's like the shape of it and it's like all texturized but the eyeshadow colors itself look really cool it has one matte and three shimmers and i think that is a black glitter if you specifically wear just black eyeshadow this would be a good good little get for you it's 67 dollars, so it's it's pretty expensive it's too expensive for me but i do like the little concept of it i think it's really cool 
So I don't, I'm kind of neutral on this, but I do want to talk about it. So it was the Roaring Hearts Collection. I don't know what this really is. It's not bad. It's a nude palette. Very, very simple makeup. Like, even the lip glosses and stuff, they're reds, pinks, and nudes. Like, there's, it's not any kind of pop of color. Even the packaging is kind of plain. But all I keep thinking when I see this, like, it's not, it's not terrible. It is ColourPop. I mean, I do love ColourPop's products, so I'm sure it's fine. I wouldn't personally get it, but when I saw this, I just want to talk about the fact they could have done, like, a, a scene collection and done Roaring Hearts, R-A-W-I-N-G, and I think it would have done amazing. And the fact that they did this really lets me down. But again, it's not... It's not terrible. Like, I might would get it if I need a good nude palette. But it's still kind of disappointing. That they, they had they had the setup right there. So this is the... I feel like I've talked about this in the October haul. Because it got, like, revealed or whatever there. But they posted it again. But it's Melt Cosmetics. And it's, like, the Armory Mariposas collection not cosmetics I still think this collection looks amazing like it's just it's so interesting I love the little imprint on the lipsticks I like the gold it just looks really cool but I have already talked about that this is something I would like to talk about it is not for the fact the colors I could care less about the colors um it is the it's the Harry Styles uh beauty line and so it has Nail polish, it has some skincare stuff. Again, never tried it, it's new, all that kind of stuff. But I wanna talk about the nail polish. I like the weird marbles that are on top. I would get it just because of that. Like I'm not, I'm not the, I don't hate Harry Styles. I don't want this to be misconstrued at all. Um, I like Harry Styles. But I'm not the biggest like Harry Styles stand. I wasn't the big biggest One Direction stand either, so I don't have that that nostalgic feel attached to them. But I like the nail polish. It looks so cool. I would really want to try that blue one. It's like that deep blue, and it's just got the weird marbles on top. And I gotta know if they like pop off, and then you unscrew it, or if you, like you unscrew the marble and like you're painting with the marble. Basically, I have to know. That looks it looks so cool. So we move on, we have, uh, I kind of want to talk about them, but not really, because I only like two of them, but I do want to talk about it. So Morphe X Ponies Makeup. I don't really know if this is My Little Pony or a, another brand or a person. So in the eyeshadow palette, I only like the two mixtures, that purple and pink, and that brown, yellow, like, they just look like planets. And I think that's something they could have done more of. And I feel like they're cowards for not. Because it's kind of like a weird, like, planet, like, galaxy, like, type thing. Also, I really do like the little lipsticks. Are there, I guess they're like a nourishing, shimmering, constellation sky lip. But it's a purple one, a pink, um, and a blue. And I think those look really cute. It has some cute little face stickers. But I feel like that palette, and I have felt this way about so many Morphe palettes. They could have gotten so much harder. And they're like holding back and I don't know why. It could have been so much better. But as we move on, I want to get a better picture of this to look at. So we have the ColourPop X Rudolph Collection. Now, this would be solely because I liked Rudolph growing up. That is something that I do have a nostalgic attachment for. They got a cute little headband type thing. Uh, the lips and all that kind of stuff. Because that palette is not it. That palette could have gone so much harder. And, like, even even that red, like, it's, it's a deep red. Like, I would have expected kind of a brighter red because, I don't know, his nose glows. It's a glowing red. I don't know, you got like your, your warm little neutrals here, you got on the other side of the weird red column, um, some more like lighter, cooler colors almost, and then you got some random green. 
Mm, I do not like that after dark, but I like the, the idea of the collection. I just feel like it could have gone harder. As we move up, we have some more nail polish. We have a lot of nail polish get like shown up. And I think that's very interesting. A lot of nail polish. So again, there, there was a lot that I kind of liked, but I didn't. So I do not like Too Faced. I do not like Too Faced, but I like this these two, mm, one, two, three, four, five. They could have done, or maybe six, they could have just done a six pan palette with that top row. That other row is giving nothing. I do not like it. It's just, I don't, I don't even understand. Like it's towards Christmas time and I know they're about to start releasing like the, the gingerbread, the whatever other sweets, the pumpkin roll. I don't know. There's no telling, but, um, cause it's just very on brand for them. Butterflies are different. They, I don't, they don't do a whole lot of butterflies to my knowledge. They do a lot of unicorns, a lot of just sweets. I don't know. I feel like it could have gone harder. I feel like there should have been some glitter or some shimmer. And I'm just, I like that, that first row though. If, if they ever just sold that, I might would get it. But I'm not going to do that. So this is, just says Ulta online. Is this just Ulta? One second. I'm trying to see what this is. I think this is just the Ulta. No, that's ColourPop. Oh, that ColourPop uh, logo blended in very well. So it is Ticket to Dreamland and On a Whimsy. On a Whimsy, I really just like the blue, the gold, and the pink. And I feel like the Ticket to Dreamland, I really kind of just like the bottom. It's got some interesting little colors. I just, I just gotta have some color. Just not seeing it anymore. And so it's very difficult for me to just find something. So where is this? This is, I have yet to try this brand and I really want to. I really want to just to see, because I am so curious. It is She Glam Official. I just, they came out with a Zodiac one, which is great. We love Zodiac. Uh, try to see which one was the Sagittarius again, because I think it was the Sagittarius that made me want it. No, I guess not. Because it's showing the, the Sagittarius one as a bunch of purples, which, I mean, I like the purples. It is a very cute palette. But I was thinking, whatever. I, like, zoom in. I do not know what that sign is. It's so hard to see. But there's one that has, like, a watermelon color palette scheme. And I want to try that one. I think it might be Cancer because I'm seeing crabs. But it looks really cool. I might actually get this to test and try. Because I have yet to do a video where I just tried the She Glam makeup. Because it's one of those that you can find it on Sheen or Romley. And so I wanted to just, just try it. See what they had. And here is the last one. I, I like it except for one color. And I'll explain it. Even though I know they're different. I know they're different. This is Juvia's Place. I do like Juvia's Place. They have good eyeshadow palettes, good foundation. So this is the, I'm trying to see, I guess the Holiday Orlo one palette. This is cool. It has a cool little tidbit here. So it says Orlo means queen in Yoruba. I'm so sorry if I butchered all of that. But it's a language spoken by the Yoruba tribe in Western Africa. And includes a mix of nine rich blue, aquamarine, and orange tones that blend flawlessly onto the skin. Fifteen dollars, which is decent compared to how great it does. I like that it has like a cool little meaning, and I like that that was added into it. So, my dilemma, and it could just be the way that this, like the filter or whatever is on it, is making it look. So it has like an orange, a gold, a green, and then a dark, dark orange. And then it has these two glittery blues. Well, they kind of look the same, but if you look at the one that's like a little bit of a closer up, the one of them has like a green kind of tint into it. So they're two different, but like, I would have just swapped the, the glitter with a different 
color, like maybe the orange or something, I don't know. But I do think it's really cool, and I like seeing kind of just, it's still like kind of cohesive because it does match like the outside and just the entire theme that they're going for. But I do like palettes that have more unique color stories, and that's not like all bland, it's not filled with a bunch of nudes, like it's it's out there and it's which it's on brand. It's on brand, and I like that a lot. So that is all of the makeup in November that launched that was decent. Even then, some of them I only liked maybe one row out of because I don't know what was with November. I just, I guess, felt picky and choosy. I was like, I could just give me a palette of just a few colors and the rest of them just keep. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. We've made it this far into the video. Um, if you're new here, uh, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. If you're not new here, turn on the bell so you can notified every time I upload. Because I'm doing vlogmas or whatever you want to call it. Because they're not necessarily vlogs because I have to get certain videos out. Um, because of that, it's, it's kind of just trying to post consistently every day and see how burned out I really get. But with that being said, I normally upload, I guess, Wednesdays and Fridays. So after December, it'll get back to that. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.